did um some improvement um we temporarily put down some stepping stones since we're using this area a lot more now as you can tell that's where we left off before we ripped out the deck and then we ripped out the deck and as you can tell we're going to be uh doing this later but we got the chicken wire and we put down some more stones just for walking Got it all behind here. Um, we'll fix that later. Just right now, we're just trying to get it up. And then come around here. We got this entire area cleaned up because this is the front of the house. I didn't want the pots and everything up, up in this area anymore because I want to make my house look nice. It's not the greatest, but I want it to look nice. And we got the uh, water catchment moved down. And then here's Donald. And putting up chicken wire. Yeah. So right now, the reason why we're cutting it is because we got to get it around this uh, telephone pole meter thing. And we got to move the steps away. And we got to tear down. There's more lattice over there, which I'll show you. So we're going to pull the stairs out, get this ripped up, pull these plants out. Donald has to cut a hole for the pipe and then we're going to run it down and then all the way to the AC unit and that's where we're stopping. Um, so we're going to figure out what we're going to be doing. We don't know if we're going to put bricks under the AC unit so that way there's no more holes for the chickens to get into or possibly put, um, just wrap a little bit of the chicken wire around it. We haven't decided yet, so. But we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get a few things done. And we'll show you everything once it's put into place. What you doing, honey? Fixing this one. Uh-oh. What happened? Oh, the people that lived here before us mm -hmm. um, had power going out to the pole barn out there, plus power run out to a light out there. Oh, and that, yeah, the one that's up in the tree out there. I had it all disconnected, but I'm just pulling it out of the box mm -hmm. and I'm gonna cut it off. I'm just making it. It, nice and neat again. Yes. Because this is so far out of code, it's not even. Mm. So we got to. Also, I found where they have a joint on the far end of the trailer just coming up out of the ground. Uh huh. And they just made joints. There's no kind of a junction box. No, nothing there. Just joints sticking out of the ground, and that's just dangerous and stupid. Oh boy! So, so are we gonna pull these out, or just yeah. the black one? I'm just pulling the black one out. Is it buried under, or is it just laying? Laying? I don't know. But for right now, I'm just tucking it back out of the way. So what's that one connected to, the barn? The pole barn. All right, and then what are you gonna do with this one then? This one I'm just gonna cut off. Well, do you think we should try to at least pull it a little bit? I can see how far they, oh, no, they buried that. Okay. Down. So. Uh, if I'm gonna be able to, I'll have to get my arc cutters out here to cut that. Okay. But. Yay, another thing to find and fix. <laughs> well, yeah. you fixed it. We just got to get it out. <laughs> yeah, this means I won't have power out there to the pole barn. Yeah, but we barely use it because it's falling down. Yeah, and also when I do run power out there, I'm going to run it out there right. Okay. Not none of this half-assed stuff. 
Well, if you cut that to the ground and bury it a little bit, we should be okay. Then that means the tree that has the light, which is way out there. Gotta love our neighbor. <laughs> No, it's it's right there. It's that tree. It's that oak tree way back there. I can see the light from here. Oh yeah, I see it there. So, but that means we can at least cut the wire to that light so then that way we can cut the tree down then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I want to cut that tree down or not. Uh well, well we'll have to evaluate it cuz it's it, the power company cut everything that was um, 20 feet from the poles. Yeah. So we'll have to see because if that tree grows any bigger or taller, we might run into problems. If it falls down, it might take out the power lines. And that's something for the power company to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take out a tree that close to the power lines. Yeah, I don't blame you. Because all wrong, one wrong move, that's it. Yeah, I don't want to be the, the person responsible for all my neighbors to be without power. <laughs> all right, well, let's keep working. You guys won't believe this. That baby Ibis is back. He was here yesterday evening, and he stuck around talking to one of my turkeys this is the same one that was here a couple of weeks ago but his feather should have turned white by now so I don't think it's the same one yeah that's an ibis once the they become adults their feathers turn white they're brown when they're babies and juveniles All right, came into another problem. <laughs> when we pulled back the bananas, a pup had grown up underneath the house. So Donald is going to go ahead and dig it up and we're gonna replant it. All right, we were able to get the chicken wire behind the bananas, going all the way down. And uh, what we did was Donald has to get it behind the AC unit so for right now as a temporary measure we just looped the chicken wire and connected it to its starting point in the corner so that way my chickens aren't getting up underneath of it for right now we're going to um, put blocks to block the holes and then run the wire behind the unit. So, but that'll come at a later time. But right now, we are protected from anything getting up under the house until we can put the lattice on it. Right now, lattice, even the simple, wood, we don't wanna go with the wooden ones, but even the simple white ones are just running almost $30 a pop. Can't quite afford that. <laughs> So, but for now, it'll work. Alrighty, here is where we transplanted the bananas. Um, it's been a few days. We've had a frozen, a uh, couple of frozen nights, but they're doing fine. They'll bounce back. And we're going to start lining the front of the house with bananas because uh, this side of the house gets a lot of sun during the summertime so uh, the bananas will help and then I wanted to show you guys this our low quat we have fruit we are excited there's a few more up in the tree um, like I said these are low quats there's some right up there there's more blossoms right there so we are excited. This is the first year that this tree is blooming its fruit. 
so we will see how it goes. All right, and we'll see you guys on the next one.